Dear participants, my name is Konstantin Vyatkin and I represent the National Scientific Center, Institute for Soil Science and uh, Agrochemistry Research, uh, Kharkiv, Ukraine. Ukraine is the largest European country with a total area of more than 57 million hectares and 70% uh, of this area is occupied by agricultural lands. Uh, and Ukrainian soil cover uh, on two-thirds consists of uh, Chernozem soils, which are viewed as extremely valuable due to their very high uh, organic carbon stocks. Uh, as an INSEE institution and a prospective soil information center for Ukraine, uh, and with the support of GSP Secretariat, uh, our institute has collected a database of soil organic carbon stocks for 0 0.30 centimeters. Uh, the main sources for this database were both uh, the Institute's own vast uh, soil database uh, and uh, the data from uh, various ministries of uh, Ukraine. Uh, and this work uh, outlined a severe issue that it is uh, very challenging uh, to consolidate all the data from different institutions and ministries into one database for soil analysis. Uh, Another thing uh, that was uh, underlined by this work of data collection was that uh, to gain the representative database uh, we needed to include a lot of uh, legacy data uh, from all soil surveys um, and only this way uh, the map could be representative for all soil diversity in Ukraine. However, this raises an issue of uh, the accuracy of assessment of current soil status. Uh, the full database for processing uh, includes more than 4,000 samples uh, and uh, after processing and cleaning the data, uh, the analysis showed that it was necessary to uh, divide uh, the data set into mineral soils and peat soils for separate modeling. The reason was uh, that the peat soils uh, had the information for the full depth of peat uh, while for mineral soils uh, we stick to 0 to 30 centimeters. And also because most of the peat soil data uh, was the legacy data, uh, the locations of peatlands could only be derived from the soil map. Uh, for the uh, digital soil mapping, uh, GIS layers of biophysical uh, surface properties uh, have been prepared uh, both by NSC ISAR and by ISRIC. And uh, these layers included uh, the soil types, parent rocks, uh, elevation data, climate data, satellite data, uh, and land cover data. Uh, also, layers were prepared for 250 meters resolution. Uh, for special modeling of uh, soil organic carbon in mineral soils, uh, we used uh, random forest regression. Uh, and uh, the resulting model uh, has a uh, root mean square error of uh, 1.83 and R square of 0 0.56, uh, uh, which uh, we see as uh, sufficient accuracy for this uh, global assessment of uh, soil organic carbon. Uh, here is the uh, resulting map of uh, predictions for mineral soils and uh, it is done in the coordinate system of WGS84, UTM zone 6N and uh, the map special resolution is 250 meters. Uh, for peat lands uh, we had to use different technique. Um, for modeling we used ordinary cridging and for the location we took the data from the soil map. Uh, so the final resulting map uh, of uh, organic carbon stocks in Ukraine uh, was obtained by combining the predictions for mineral soils and for peat. Uh, thus, with the support of GSP Secretariat and thanks to the training provided by ISRIC, uh, the soil organic carbon stocks digital map of Ukraine has been uh, produced and uh, we view it as an important step uh, towards the sustainable development goals. Uh, however, this mapping project also uh, underlined some issues and uh, the challenges for our future work, such as the necessity of establishing an up-to-date soil information system in Ukraine. Uh, also, some additional research is needed uh, to have um, up-to-date information on peat soils, uh, which are subject to degradation, so uh, using only legacy data uh, would not be sufficient in this case. Uh, and uh, for the overall uh, organic carbon stocks, uh, there is need for regular monitoring uh, 
to uh, accurately assess the carbon loss due to degradation processes such as soil erosion, deflation and dehumification, uh, which are currently uh, very actively developing in Ukraine. Uh, thank you for your attention.